right, so I kind of saw something in one of the ads. And this is a local grocery store called Lidl. And it's kind of like an Aldi, and they're not everywhere. So we decided to pop in today because we were actually going to the Dollar Tree. And uh, I found yarn and crochet hooks and other supplies. So yeah, I'm kind of excited. We're going to do a review. But they had yarn. So stay tuned. All right, so if you saw the little intro that I filmed on my phone, <laughs> uh, we went to a new, a, not a yoon, we went to a new store. Um, now, it's not new, new. Lidl has been in our neighborhood for a very long time. And uh, several years at least. We used to do more grocery shopping there than we do currently because our grocery needs have changed. But... Like, yeah, I was kind of shocked when I saw the ad and I was like, they have yarn at Lidl? Now, I'm going to tell you a backstory. By the way, welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Stitches. I'm your yarn host, Jennifer, and all that jazz. Um, <clears throat> a couple years ago, I want to say it was before the pandemic, Aldi, which is very much like Lidl. Um, I think they're from the same part of the world. I want to say they're both German companies. I could be wrong about that. Um... They both are claimed to be low-priced grocers. They have unique brands, but they also sometimes carry like name brand stuff. That Aldi is where I do all of my grocery shopping, with the exception of some of my meat I get at the other grocery stores, depending on what meat's on sale. Like, you know, Lidl, they have a lot of stuff on sale, but their prices are just a smidge higher than Aldi, and they don't have necessarily the type of groceries that I purchase particularly. So not wrong with light Lidl. I just prefer Aldi. So several years ago, I want to say 2019, maybe 2018, Aldi. Now Aldi in the UK has yarn. <laughs> they have craft supplies. Here in the United States, they don't. And the one time they did, I did not purchase any because it was $6 a ball and I found that price offensive because Premier Yarns isn't even $6 a ball. Even now, four years later, the price is just, it's kind of off, you know? So for me, I was like, yeah, I passed on it. And I have regretted it ever since. Like, I should have got the Aldi yarn. I should have tried out the Aldi yarn. Like, it was a one-time opportunity to get Aldi yarn. So when I saw the Lidl had it, I'm like, maybe we should go, because we were going to the Dollar Tree anyway. Um, my snack of choice that is safe for me for diabetes, because it does not have the sugars that, like, potato chips have, is, like, pork rinds. So... Pork rinds is my snack that helps get me through the day. It's A, a protein, B, has no carbohydrates. And yeah, I'm eating pork rinds, I'm losing weight. So we're all good. But we're not here for that, right? <laughs> so that's what I was going to the Dollar Tree for. And Juju wanted to check out some of the Freeman facial stuff that they have going on. So, and this bag cute is lemons. I splurged and got a bag. Now, they had at Lidl, I didn't bring my receipt in here. I, I think I remembered how much I paid for all this stuff. So they not only had... I do have my receipt. Silly me. I didn't realize it was in there. They had yarn. They had crochet hooks. They had knitting needles, which I passed on the knitting needles. The knitting needles look like bamboo hooks with the really cheap rubbery... You know you know the knitting needles I'm talking about. Well, there's way too much memory and it's not worth the hassle. So I passed on those. And... um. I also got myself a bag of pork rinds from Lidl to try out and compare it to the Dollar Tree ones. So, <laughs> just personal. So the yarn that they had at Lidl was a pretty good size ball. These again were $5.99. And while I wouldn't pay it at Aldi for the $6 ball of yarn, I was like, you know what? 
let's just do it because I'm gonna regret it if I don't. Now this says it's knitting yarn but this looks like a basic acrylic. <laughs> like you can use it for crochet, it don't matter. Um, this is the brand Crelando or Crelando. Crelando, Crelando. All right. It says timeless. Um, hang on. I found some readers at the Dollar Tree, <laughs> and, and I need them because I'm I'm straining. I'm straining. And my other Pioneer Women glasses are in the other room. I was using them in the living room. I did not bring them in here. And these are red, so these are like my other ones. So, you know, and they were $1.25. See, and they're 125 magnification, so. <laughs> Whereas my other ones were 175 magnification. These are really dirty, I'm gonna clean them up. I, li I like red glasses. Red glasses has become my, like, my um, trademark. Oh, look at that, I can actually see you guys and I can see the yarn. $1.25. And these feel nicer quality than the Pioneer Woman's ones I paid $10 for. Go figure. Look at that. I can actually see you guys. All right. It says knitting yarn, timeless universal knitting yarn, perfect for trendy knit scarf, sweaters, accessories, and more. Extra soft and fluffy knitting instructions for cardigan included. Now that's a cocoon style cardigan. So, I mean, I don't like that style. I'm not going to make that. It is 200 grams, 370 yards. It's a four ply, which is about a worsted weight for $5.99. Is it a horrible price? No. Is it a good price for a little? No. <laughs> like this? I'm thinking like $2.99 would have been a better price because my Premier Basics, which I'm feeling feels very similar to this, is like three bucks. So, I mean you know but I had to try it 100% acrylic material needed for the cardigan see the pattern only goes up to a size large is 28 ounces <clears throat> scan QR code for more knitting instructions is there a QR code there's a QR code you guys want to scan that with your phone you can see what it takes you to I have no idea because I didn't bring my phone in here <laughs> oh it has the Okotech standard 100 on here that means it's safe against 100 plus harmful chemicals etc that can be in the processing of this yarn all right anything else you guys need to know i don't think so because that's a different language so we got the color let's see if it says the color on here Color E, which I'm calling Peacock. Then they had this color, which is color C, which I'm calling Seafoam. <laughs> okay, got Peacock and Seafoam. And then they had color A, also known as white. Cloud, we'll call it Cloud. And then color... B, which is gray. So you got A, B, C, and E. I'm guessing the D colorway was the burgundy color, which I opted out of buying because I did not have endless amounts of money to buy all the colors. And I was like, I'm going to stick with these because these are pretty. I am going to take you guys to the table and we're going to crochet up a swatch. This to me feels, I mean, it's very halo-y fluffy it's got some it's gonna pill on you it's gonna pill on you but this feels to me like a very basic acrylic like basics like um if you remember ac more when ac roars around their basic yarn um this looks thicker and plumper than mainstay and it is definitely softer than super saver but it's gonna pill it's gonna fill. It's gonna fill. And then <clears throat> while we were at it, they had crochet hooks. Like I said, they also had knitting needles, but I was not I was not interested in the knitting needles. They looked terrible. They look like really cheap wood with their really cheap rubber 
it reminds me of surgical tubing is what that looked like. So I left the knitting needles. But I think these were $2.99 each. Yeah, $2.99 each. You got some big wooden hooks. Which this, depending on how well they work, these will be good for, um, like... I'm not gonna crochet with them. I'm being real honest. I don't like bamboo crochet hooks. I don't like wood crochet hooks unless they're really high quality. And these are gonna be for like picking up stitches and knitting or like if I need a crochet hook for something else other than actually sitting and crocheting with it. But I did wanna test these out and give them a fair shot. So $2.99, so that's a dollar a hook. And then they had these, and they're all the Cree Lando brand. They also had, and these are just three metal hooks. So the wooden ones are eight millimeter, 10 millimeter, and 12 millimeter, and these are four, five, and six millimeter. They also had smaller hooks as well. I didn't need all of the hooks, so <laughs> it's all good. I'm gonna clear off a little bit of room while I talk. They also had, um, I think I took a picture of it. They had um, a snap thing so the hand players thing to put snaps on your projects which was a pretty good deal I think it was $11.99 and it came with a whole bunch of snaps and it was like Amazon quality you know like a lot of my supplies come from Amazon so I'm not I'm not slamming Amazon at all but like it was that kind of quality and they had they had oh what else did they have they had um big giant sketch pads if you draw they had markers they had a big giant pack of gel pens for like five dollars which is a pretty good deal that's comparable to ollie's they had <clears throat> a bunch of valentine's day stuff but they had some really neat stuff in what i would call the art section so it's funny because if you see if you i'm gonna pop up a picture right here the picture of the display this was directly in front of the meat counter so <laughs> just on the other side of the yarn is the meat and which I thought was funny and along there was also some other craft supplies that I perused but it doesn't really go with the crafts that I do myself so I just kind of like left them there but I was really interested to see the yarn and what really fascinates me is this is not a paper sleeve it's like heavy duty cardboard <laughs> it's like is really like is a stiff like it's it's stiff you can see there's like a fold in it which i thought was just kind of neat where is this made does it say where it's made distributed arlington virginia made in turkey which is why i probably like it because i like turkish yarn it's like i said it's soft and squishy all right well let's go down to the table and we'll work up a little swatch and see what we think of this yarn I think I'm going to work with the gray. But I think these colors all go really pretty together. I really like that peacocky color. So we're going to, I'm going to work a swatch with one of my favorite hooks. And then oh my Omi hook. This, what does this recommend? It says five to six millimeter for crochet hooks and knitting needles. I have a seven. That's just going to give us a little extra room to work with the stitches. And then I will test out these with them and we'll see how the hooks work up as well. And I do have other yarn on the desk for Premier Week yarns. They're on the desk currently. So I may work up swatches with the hooks with the other yarns just to see how those compare. So let's go down to the table. All right. So I know that it's not quite showing up on camera just how much fuzz is on this yarn there is quite a bit coming off so i like i'm predicting 100 percent predicting that this is going to be a pilly yarn i'm trying to center pull wow that was pretty easy and this is a it's a hefty it's a hefty size paint or skein of yarn this yarn is really thick like it's bordering a bulky five it's really thick and plump. Matter of fact, I don't know if I have any puzzle in here. It appears to me to be as thick or thicker than the puzzle yarn from Premier, which is a number five. 
So, probably a good thing I grabbed a 7mm hook. Now, it already looks like it's wanting to untwist. So, it may cause it to be a splitty arm. I don't know. Never can tell unless we work up a swatch. Now, I am not going to work up a knit swatch because I just don't feel like it today. <laughs> We're just going to do crochet. Now, by feeling it, it feels softer in the skein than it does running through my fingers. So, it's giving me leaning more towards a super saver feel which again makes the price tag six dollars for that kind of on the high side <laughs> real talk yeah this is not real soft Now, keep in mind my opinion of softness is different than yours because I have skin problems. I have eczema. I have a form of eczema that causes blisters and, and some yarns, Super Saver in particular, rips my skin. It rips holes right in my skin. So, that is my level of, okay, this is good yarn. Okay, this is bad yarn. I can't use it. And if your skin don't do that, I'm so happy for you because it's horrible. And um, keep that in mind. <laughs> I tell you all that because I'm not trying to just be hard on certain yarns. And I know my level of, hey, this is soft, is different than other people's because my skin is so sensitive. See, it's wanting to split right there. So it's nice and plump. It's not horrible to work with. I just don't see myself working for hours on end with it because it does feel... It's not scratchy. It's not... It's not not soft. It's slightly abrasive while being soft, which is... I don't know how else to say that, but I'm still excited to see yarn at ladle, and I'm still going to use this yarn. I don't know what I'm going to use it for or use it with, but like, it's a nice squishy yarn, and I can see with proper care. Was there washing instructions on this? I don't think I said the washing instructions. Let's finish this row and I'll check the label. recyclable <sighs> machine wash cold delicate do not bleach dry flat do not iron do not dry clean now the reason they're gonna say dry flat is because I'm gonna tell you right now that this is gonna pill up <laughs> so Machine wash cold delicate and lay flat to dry. So you don't want to make like something huge with this that you're going to have to hand wash like a blanket. Yeah. So there's our swatch with my favorite hook. Now, let's try some of these other hooks. Well, thank you for that. The yarn grabbed the hook and pulled it right out of the package for me. This is an 8 millimeter hook, so we're actually going up higher. It has the, si the style head that I like. I mean, <laughs> it's got that nice pointy top with that nice cut in line. Yeah, baby, I like that. But these other, these ones have more of a boy style head. 
And this is more of a Susan Bates for those of you who compare hooks by name brand. Inline versus tapered or not tapered. What do they call that? Oh yeah, that's... No, I don't like this hook. This hook is very sticky. Yeah, and it's squeaking at the same time it's sticking. This is not going to be an enjoyable hook to work with. So these will be... I have hooks that I use for things other than working crochet with them. And they're hooks to help me like fix slip stitches. And they're hooks to help me like, you know, you guys all know. We all have those hooks where we don't use them for crochet, but we keep them around for other projects. That's what these are going to be. Now you can wax these. You can rub some, like a candle on them. And it will smooth them out a little bit. And I'm sure with wear and tear, they will smooth out. Right now it is very grabby. It's very grabby. And it sounds, I don't know if you hear that. It sounds terrible. <laughs> I don't want to use it. All right, so I'm going to give a hard pass to these hooks. I can't even get through another roll. But they will go in my other my other hooks. Now these, I mean, the packaging is beautiful. Like, look at that. It's pretty. The hooks kind of remind me of, like the Bella Coco hooks. Or, I'm trying to think of what other hooks look like this. Alright, that's not rubber at all. I thought the handles would be rubber. That's like hard plastic. <laughs> it's hard plastic. I'm going to start with the 6mm hook. They feel very lightweight and very cheap. Very, they feel very cheap. They're only $2.99 though, but these feel like these... These don't feel as good a quality as the ones from the Dollar Twenty Five Tree. Whereas those are a little bit heavier. They got like a rubbery handle. This is just really cheap, really lightweight plastic. Those numbers are going to rub off in no time. It feels like the metal part of the hook only stops at about right here. Because this is so lightweight, there's nothing. You can tell. There's nothing metal on that side. Give it an old balance test. Yeah, so... There's more weight on this side of the hook, which tells you it doesn't go all the way down. This hook feels kind of sticky too. I am going to also give you a warning. I am a hook snob. I am. I don't like using anything other than my Omis or my furl hooks. I will. I don't mind a boy hook. I like a Susan Bates hooks. I like the twist and lock hooks from Susan Bates. Um, I, I'm picky with my hooks. Because I have, I also have arthritis in my hands. So, <laughs> with that, this isn't horrible. It's not horrible. not horrible at all. Now one of the things I always say is if you don't like the, if you're having a hard time crocheting, sometimes it could be the yarn, sometimes it could be the hook, and sometimes the hooks and the yarn might just not be compatible. So if you're having a hard time crocheting something, switch out your hooks and see if that makes a difference. Because some yarns and some hooks just don't like each other and they will cause extra drag and they will cause extra strain on your hands. This isn't a horrible hook. I think if you liked the way they looked and you thought they were pretty, I mean, they're worth the three dollars. They were only three dollars for three hooks. They are irritating a little bit right here because it's hitting when I crochet. I like my hooks. If you see, my Omi hooks are a lot longer. They don't hit me anywhere. <laughs> so I'm like crocheting. I don't even feel that end. Well, with this one, it's hitting right here. See? So. But if you have smaller hands than me, you might like these. The plastic warmed up nicely, so now the hook feels warm in my hand. It's very lightweight if that is something that you require. You want something lightweight in your hands. 
and the head is comparable but more lightweight than your basic aluminum boy hook. I'm not even talking about the rubberized head ones. It feels lighter than a regular aluminum hook. So I'm guessing that this is hollow aluminum because that's how lightweight it is. See, now maybe this yarn doesn't feel so bad. It's not irritating me as much as it was. I've been working with Premier Anti-Peeling Acrylic this week though, so like <laughs> anything aside from that feels less than. It's not because it rubs me here and here. You see there's, I don't know if you guys can see, there's a little bit of red irritation right there. Just the slightest. And that goes a little bit red from it rubbing across there. And then right there is no mark at all across there. So it's not irritating my skin horribly bad. It's got, it works up nice. I mean, it's got really nice stitch definition. It's squish. It feels good. It's not stiff at all. So yeah, I mean, if you have a ladle near you, Check it out. It's worth the check. If not, you can maybe get yourself some tea. They have good tea at Ladle. They have um, some groceries. You can get some groceries if you can't find your yarn. <laughs> but yeah, I was excited. Like, I totally passed on it when it was at all the, the... See, I should have tested this one. This one feels softer. Some, well, a lot of yarns. The different colors of the yarn... And the way that they process the color will change the texture of the yarn. The gray is rougher than the blue. Me. I'm trying to back the camera up so you can actually see what I'm doing. I'm rubbing all the yarns. I have the white here too. The white is the softest. The white's the softest. It feels definitely softer than the gray. The gray is rougher than the rest of them, so I should have probably checked another color, but yeah, this one's about level with the, the gray. It's not as soft. The white is the softest, so yeah. And you know what's funny is a couple years ago, <laughs> a couple years ago, I didn't have any white yarn in my stash like whatsoever. And now I've been collecting white every time like I see yarn. I'm like, well, I'll grab a white because you never know when you're going to need white for an accent. And so, yeah, that's what I've been doing. I don't know if you can see how much that's going to really, really pill. Because that's just from it rubbing against itself. That That's what causes pills. If you don't know what pills are, pills is when the yarn rubs against itself from either it being on the shelf or from like it being in a project and... You, the movement of your body rubs and rubs and like it rubs against itself and then this eventually causes those little balls which are called pills that have to be shaved off yeah so this is going to be a pill of yarn so if you're going to use this i would not use this for wearables or a blanket unless you don't mind pills um i think for hats this would be fine i think for scarves it would be fine because you're not getting a lot of like body parts rubbing against itself like you would with a sweater or something like that but yeah I'm curious I didn't even look and see if there actually was a pattern on the inside of the label I'm just gonna cut the label I wanted to show you guys this label anyway because it's crazy it's so stiff oh look at that the whole pattern in there. Difficulty easy. Huh. And it's just a square that you fold up to make a yeah. Customer service. Visit website customer service platform Lidl.com forward slash contact us. If you have any problems with your own apparently. So yeah it's like super heavy duty. It's like Card stock. It's like heavy duty card stock. 
That's crazy. It's funny because all the yarn here in the United States, they don't have that heavy duty stuff. They got like really thin paper labels that rip if you rub it the wrong way. Let's see if I can get it back on my yarn. I should have closed it before I taped it closed. There was enough excess tape on there that it just resealed itself even after I cut it. So yeah. Yeah, check out your little. Thank you for watching this video. I had fun making it. And I will see you in the next one.